Now the problem with super game improvement irons or distance irons, whatever you want to call them, is they come with compromises. And the iron that I have tucked under my arm right now, well that could be a super game improvement iron that's absolutely perfect in the sense that there are no compromises to be made. So before I actually start the review and reveal what this iron is, I want to hear from you what you think makes up a perfect super game improvement iron or a perfect iron for that matter. Now one thing you might ask for but very rarely find is a forged face because what a forged face does in my opinion is it gives superior feel but like I said you don't normally find that in a super game improvement iron but you do in these and these irons have got plenty of decent feel so that's one box ticked. Now the next thing you might want to see is a bit of tungsten in there to certainly help at that long end of the bag. And again, it ticks that box. We've got plenty of tungsten. We've also got a bit of foam injected in terms of hollow bodied head. So everything right now is going towards a game improvement iron with, uh, like I said, all boxes ticked. And if it produces that kind of performance, then these could be labelled as perfect. Oh my word, that's just absolutely awesome. And at the short end of the bag, they've got a neat enough kind of profile in the pitching wedge top line. Might be just on that little heavy side, what you'd expect, but the kind of overall profile, heel to toe, the shaping of it is really nice. And uh, coupled with that feel, sit down ball, that's a lively green for this time of year at Carden Park. Then yet again, I've gone from pitching wedge, we've hit nine iron, we've gone into a five iron just off that tee. And so far, these are pretty much the perfect game improvement iron. The question is, what is it? Well, I started with it tucked under my arm and it is in fact the Callaway Paradigm, but it's the Paradigm X model. And that's what takes it into a different category in terms of being a super game improvement iron or distance iron, whichever you want to categorize it as. But the first thing, in addition to what I've already mentioned, that is really positive about this iron is the shape, profile, overall mass is nothing like what I would expect to see an iron in that category look like. And what I mean by that is if you take a look at the sole unit, it's not overly wide. If you take a look at the top line, yes, it's wide, but they've used uh, some clever use of colouring to make it look visually thinner than it is at a dress. But then that heel to toe shaping is a really nice profiled iron. So a super game improvement iron that has tungsten weighting, hollow bodied, some foam injected in there. It's got some tungsten weighting, have I mentioned that? And it's got a forged face and it's got a neat profile. What can you not like about this iron? Well, there are a few things maybe. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Now the first potential issue is something that we're going to find in most game improvement irons and that is the amount of offset that you see at a dress. And what you'll notice with this five iron that we're looking down on, it's quite significant. Now for me personally, that's a lot of offset and when I'm teed up in this position, it's almost pointing off down to the left hand side. Now, if you're really working against a big slice in your game, which a lot, again, of golfers that fall into this category would be doing, then obviously that offset can be a potential help. But it's also a potential negative for a lot of golfers who just visually aren't able to get over that. The next thing we're going to try and do is hit a ball from left to right. Yeah, that's work against that offset and see if a game improvement iron is actually playable in terms of shaping a shot. And the answer is yes, and again, a bit of an urban myth in my opinion, in that many people say once you go into this type of iron, it's impossible to shape a ball. We've just been able to hit that with a nice bit of control left to right, and that's even with the amount of offset that is sat on that five iron. So for me, like I said, a bit of a myth. These are also very playable irons. That was also flighted down a little. You can do a lot with this iron shape and head profile that I wouldn't perhaps expect to see in a game improvement iron. And then from exactly the same tee position, 
aiming straight at the bushes it's not moved but that was again just to see a different ball flight what tungsten does and uh, in what is a strong lofted set of irons is it certainly helps with that cd helps with launch so what you get in there again is a five iron that helps you launch the ball very high if that's the type of shot you want to play and if that's the type of help you want then that's where you see the help that tungsten gives it's really hard to find faults like i said other than the ones that you would naturally associate with game improvement irons i've talked about offset i just mentioned strong lofts they're probably the only two things you would criticize but they're not about this iron they're more about the genre right i asked you at the beginning of the video a question what would you like to see in terms of or consider to be the perfect super game improvement iron and i think what we've seen so far i think i can't well i can't think of anything else i can imagine a golf club manufacturer can do in terms of this category of iron what i want to know is is there anything you've seen in this video that might persuade you to um, consider callaway paradigm x irons but the bigger question is is there anything you've seen that perhaps you're using a player's distance iron a, a better player's iron whatever we're going to call it would you consider sort of uh, moving the goalposts if you like for a bit more help a bit more assistance and shifting from a player's iron to a super game improvement iron or a player's distance iron because I think these are certainly begging the question. Well, I was working out how we're gonna sort of finish this video and what would be the summary and I think it's a testament to the fact that I've decided the, um, the way I'm gonna finish off it is hitting a five iron. It's probably the, well, it's the longest iron that I've got and obviously it'd be the toughest shot to hit and uh, that's because this thing performs incredibly well right throughout the bag including that five iron it is extremely strong lofted but again that ball flight defies that loft and as golf clubs go long end of the bag as you know i'm suggesting that perhaps you wouldn't even consider going this far if you did buy a set of these irons maybe look up to about a six iron and then swap into some hybrids but we're going to finish it here i'm going to hit at that big fir tree with a bit of left to right and let's see if we can execute that shot and finish on a high. I mean, it's just so, so easy. Nice, easy swing. But it's plugged in the middle of the fairway, but that's absolutely spot on. Nice bit of control. What I said early on is that you start to build confidence in the ball speed out of this thing. And what that means to me is that I start to swing a bit slower because I more rely on what's in that club head to fire that ball out rather than me having to worry about generating club head speed and for me that is all important to keep that swing tempo in line and like I said let the club do the work so so impressed with them things do you know what I'm going to end it there one request before I go any further that's just come to me is can you please consider following us on Facebook as well where we've got some interesting different content that we've been throwing up on that page over the last couple of months so please consider that so that is me done another video complete at what is fairly windy day to say the least here at Carden Park conditions were tough but the Paradigm X irons performed incredibly well I've got to say they could be perhaps the perfect game improvement iron so as ever let me know your thoughts if you tried these things because they are very much in the shops at retail for you to try right now so i would be interested in your feedback as would your fellow golfers who will be reading through those comments and seeing what your thoughts are thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow night